Morning folks, it's 11.36 a.m. on the fifth day, third month, 2022. And I'm looking at Australia again as I'm watching a deluge about to occur for the mountain areas of west of Sydney, for the areas around Coffs Harbour, Newcastle, an area where these plumes are. Areas which are influenced by microwaves, areas that are under weather attack. Okay, now I'm going to put some town names on for a moment or two so you get an idea. Sydney's here, Newcastle is here. Sorry if my cursor don't do the best with what I got. All right, Sydney, your, your areas back here are really going to cop it. Heaviest concentrations of rain will be seen where this area here, you see where um, they hit this with a scalar square, it's like not as cloudy as the rest. That's an energized area going to create a flow right it's the heated air it's going to create a flow like this while this is flowing in like that so some very heavy dangerous storms can occur actually in these suburbs here back through here again torrential rains um, suspecting a, a high-speed rail route see how this comes in See how this areas of the mountain here has a different proposed route? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I see it. On more than one source. This area here is being flooded. I said I didn't understand why they were doing this side of the mountains. Does that kind of show you something? Gosford, you you clearly a stop. Though high speed rail is designed to not stop in as many places and link smart cities, but that's just conjecture in opinion and not fact the fact is these evenly spaced plumes here should not occur naturally in nature put your ruler up this is chem bomb deployment I would suspect this path here something flew along in here and deployed to either side because a gondola can do that you know you roll on both sides of the boat don't you you don't fire on one side without counteracting the other Knock the ship over, you will. Fire all the cannons on one side of a boat at once without firing some from the other side and see what happens. This is a magnetic soup of mess. This is a chem bomb deployment here. Like I've shown you the boom, 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 boom. And I'll show you it live. I, I, I can see it on the radar right now. And really, it's going on right now. Watch. This is that area. I'll put some names on it. It'll show up. And I'll take it off straight away. I'm going to try. It, it loads real choppy. If it doesn't put town names up, oh well. Kembon deployment here. Look at the square in the center dot. Look at the square coming over the top of you here. Hang on. I'm going to stop that. There you go. There's your, there's your names. So you know the area I'm looking at. Maury here. So let's um let's do this. All right, was chem bomb deployments fueling and aiming this weather? Boom! Look here. Just watch this one while I cycle this. See it? it, it it's an explosion. Look at the square. It's not round storms. Look at these here. More plumes being deployed in front of it to feed it, to put the catalysts in the atmosphere that make the conditions that allow this cloud to exist and do what it's doing. Yeah, that's rotating. It's an impossible cloud, actually. Watch how it starts going this way, squares out, it runs into a wall of EMF and it turns, it turns the top. And that's where the danger zone is, where that turn happens. Why? Because I've seen this enough years to just give you a warning. School of life could be the thing you need if you, if you like to read. All right, see that? See those chem bomb plumes? Let's go up here. It's not over. That's sickness mix. That's a different look in deployment than that other one I just showed. Firecrackers in the sky, folks. 
boom! That whole area got cluster bombed. I don't know any other way to compare it. Where something comes along, it just indiscriminately dumps. But it's done on a timer. Because it's obviously got space between. You time every couple seconds and you have the same velocity and you throw something out a window. You're going to look like you've done something incrementally. Left turn, Clyde. Look at this boom, boom, boom here. That's an obvious. Excuse me. This jumps around. I know it bothers some people, but it bothers me more than you. I'm watching this chem bomb right here. Look right here. That's obvious explosion. It, I'm looking right here. See this this object right here. I'm not going to move the screen any further. You can keep concentrate on that object. Within the matter of 10, 20, 30. Right in through here. <whistles> My like you didn't have enough flooded stuff. Stay out of them floodwaters. That stuff's contaminated with dead bodies of things. Boy, is that unhealthy. It's not over yet. Don't get suckered into going back down to your houses near the coastline, near coughs and all that. Sydney, you are well in the woods, not out of the woods. Harvey Bay, the whales are going to cop it. So look at this. This coming here and this mass here is going to affect the weather here terribly. It's almost like they're land grabbing Harvey Bay because... It's such so touristy. It's worth a lot of money. See this kind of haze forming here? That's an EMF pulse coming through. It's easier to see when I zoom back. You'll see how much area that affects. Look at the ripple here. Boop, 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 boop. I won't be surprised if this is centered over an x -rad. That's again another chem bomb. And I showed you this, the uh, Strato Cruiser uh, does have an EMF emitter on it capable of bzzzing its area. So if to, if to see a strato cruiser do a square would not surprise me and a pulse in a particular direction. Like if I heated that area there, I would cause a curl here and here. Right? And heated air would then cause this area to turn um, this direction in this hemisphere, which would kick this stuff up and around and simulate what looks like a low pressure system. Watch. I did give this a good peek. Oh, that plume's right there. Horrendous. Coming for you, Sydney. Coming for you, Gosford. Coming for you, Newcastle. They're coming for you, Cough. <coughs> Ain't gonna be no safe harbor there today. You guys got about 12 hours before the rains start in that area. Sydney, less. And why I say that is the weather plan itself. So I'm gonna pause this. Batch of sickness mix going over the top of you and show you the rain accumulation. All right, the next 12 hours. This is why I say you got a bit of a break from here to here. Don't be suckered in to go and, and get and stuff because you're going to get it. But if there's something that important and you can get in and out of your area in four or five hours, do it. Go collect. You, you should have that gap through here. And then it's no go because after 12 hours, this is the plan. Right, that area here near that lake that's already at its absolute capacity. And the dam of that lake is here. Into this waterway here would, would inundate Penrith. All this whole area, the washout would be catastrophic. I don't know another word for it. Isn't that cool how that mountain line there kind of looked like the head of a bird? I like my imaginary. Yeah, this is not not good at all. And uh, that's just over 24 hours that they're talking. Well, they ain't showing. <laughs> okay. Over the next three days, this is how much rain you've got. Some reason ain't showing it. Well, they don't like me showing that stat. I looked earlier. It was uh, 128 mils through this pink area here is evidence through this here. Which is, that's over a meter. Oh, this is millimeter. My apology. 
this is just terrible. Look at this, uh, this whole area down here. They used to use fire to burn people out to make railroads, and now they use water to squash and extinguish lives. What a shame. Richmond, I don't agree. I don't agree with this rain total. I think it's going to be heavier. I don't agree with it at all. And that's up through Newcastle over the next three days. Next 24 hours, you get a bit of a breakthrough here. That's going to float the bodies out of the houses. But the rivers are already inundated. There are, over the next five days, this whole area has copped it again. Everything. Everything. Along this route here, that's along this picture here, in this area here, is inundated. Inundated. I think it's a partial land grab for high-speed rail. That, what are they going to do with the inside land? They're going to declare it uninhabitable by humans and they're going to allow you to rebuild. They took out your infrastructure. You ain't got no stores left. You ain't going to be able to resupply them country stores. They took out your, your Australia One Party office, right? They, they bombed that whole area with the weather bomb. I set it straight off. I'm not going to shy from it. How to fight activism with, uh, with weather bombs. But as you can see, over the next 10 days, you're not getting the same amount of rains that you did before. The, the rain uh, making efforts have been concentrated, uh, I'd call it around Coff South, because that's Newcastle and all that area here, beautiful mountains, and then waterfalls are gonna be, I'm, I'd like to see some pictures of them actually. So if you can get some of those sent my way, I'd really appreciate it. It's nighttime, so the webcams ain't gonna reveal too much. Pissing it, not too good looking. But yeah, we can look at webcams. Um, to show you an in motion um, rain radar, weather radar. Let's run that for a moment. Oh, a big pulse going on over here. Look, see it? It's still going up. It's a glitch, man. I don't believe official excuses about glitches from a government that will do this to its people and then lie about it. Okay. Hey, do you think the government won't lie to you? Go believe some more lies. Look a big wall of EMF is whole pin in this storm. Actually, it's not advancing the heavier rains beyond there. It's just diving straight south into the gong, into the mountains uh, west of Sydney. Some heavy flaring there is telling me they've been hit with a blast. Dobo looks like you're uh, dodging a bullet. Well, you're getting fried because you got the interference patterns of two of these intersecting here. What I'm talking about is I zoom back. I get a better idea of some of the pulsing going on. And these end lines is the coverage area of that radar. Maury is usually extremely guilty. It has a lot to do with your weather mod. So when you see stuff come here and then go weird. Yeah, Brisbane Marburg's blasting. Look. Look at the pulse. Circle, nothing. Circle, nothing. It's indicative of an EMF pulse. You can have something here aim its pulse up here. And I, I, that's well possible through signal modulation. Right, and this is just radar. And we could do weather plan. The only thing I can call it, weather plan. Heavy winds coming from offshore, hemming waters up again through the uh, this area of Bribey. Yeah, you're getting a bit of a break. Don't be complacent, okay? And if you were not in a safe spot, and you can get a safe spot, but you got you got a little bit of time to do it. This is later this week. This is now current conditions. Current traditions have all the action down here. And that is not a little bit of rain. That is very heavy. It is very electrical. Hail, tornadic activity would not surprise me as this stuff leaves the mountains and enters flat area. The electrical uh, connection to the ground will get higher. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Water spouts. The flows are perfect for it. If this is coming down, that's coming across, that has to spin when it meets it. 
right? You got an up, meet, and a down. Something's going to give. Directions change. And where the directions change, you get high volatility. I'm going to run the weather plan here. Nothing else to call it. This is the planned path of destruction. And again, very, very heavy into this reservoir. I'm watching this very closely because the dam is here. And the rain entering it here can still flow through a tributary into here. Very, very concerned. Gosford in the entrance, again, you, you're going to have a deluge. Watch this day here. You'll see it's coming. I'm just running the weather plan. And the gong, what do they want there? They keep absolutely trashing you. Are you going to be a hub for high-speed rail that changes its direction? Like, everything stops here, boards a different train and goes in this direction toward uh, Melbourne, Adelaide and that? I'd like to know. Um, I've got to think of why. Because that is why. Why would they do that to these people? Look how heavy this rain is. <laughs> it ain't showing it. But from that one there is usually indicative of... um. In this range here, 20 heading toward 30 mils every three hours. That's an every three hour graph. This is just horrendous. It's hard to show. It really is. That's your weather plan up through Monday. There's very, very heavy rain here impacting Newcastle and Coffs and all that up here. Did you see that? The weather plan to flood you out. How do they know it's going to rain that heavy here uh, at 1600 on May 7th, my time? Why? Because it's a weather plan. They want to give each other warning. They're 53 millimeter every three hours. See, it says they're every three hours. Light thunder. My ass. The pictures I'm seeing, it sounds like a freaking battle in the sky. You swear there'll be invisible spaceships up there battling for our freedom. say about that would you look at the guilt out here out to sea over the sea and this is getting directed in see how the the dynamics change here things come offshore from this direction and turn this is a heated area now i showed you the pulse All right i'm going to turn this off i want to go worldview so it looks like you do have a little bit of a break so if i gave you a little bit of hope because of that good if I'm bringing you hope, I'm happier. Uh-oh, I shut my world view up. Let's go again. I'm going to shut the sat viewer up. See if this runs, and then i got to get ready for work. Hi-ho, hi-ho. In a month, maybe i get a computer to show. <laughs> nah, y'all going to help me. I'll feel it. All right, what's going on up here? Sorry, i got to look. Chemtrails ain't just over Australia, folks. You ain't the only ones copying it. And I'm showing you other people copying it here. All right. All right. I'm going to go into it now. I want to look at that mass that's out here. What they did to the gun. And one more look through here. Put some place labels on. Sydney. Mount Cossack. Canberra. There we go. Look at these toxic skies over the top. You're making your weather over uh, Morton National Park. That's a national park. They shouldn't be parking their geoengineering balloons going sss, spraying stuff that ain't that ain't healthy. That ain't a Lysol getting rid of the Rona. It's just another con. Conning you into asking, could you please deploy something in the sky that takes my sunshine and settles on my ocean? Could you please fry me with more microwaves? LRAD wasn't good enough. Really? The government that fried their own people with microwaves is doing this to everybody right now. And you ain't done nothing wrong. You ain't done nothing worth losing your home, losing your pets, losing your livelihood, losing sleep, and having your, your ease dissed. You're having your ease dissed by these squares out here. This stuff is falling out on you. These microwaves ain't adding to the energy of your body. They actually make you feel a bit weaker. That's a fact. Oxygen depletion in your body of this ability to absorb it is directly affected by microwaves. And that's another fact. Look it up. Prove me wrong. Man-made weather is real. 
Manway weather is going on right now. Round Mountain has a big round pulse over the top of it and it's square. Streamering out. Boom! Percussion right wave. Artillery shell method. This must be confronted squarely. A New England? Yeah, that's what we need. Should we ask the indigenous of the world how, how did the old England treat them? Look at this uh, over here, gun to windy. Gone with the wind or all these stuff. What they popped off here is getting in the wind is going to settle somewhere else. Might settle on that reef that you're passionate about saving. Well, this ain't saving it. Ain't saving it at all. Where do you guys get the bill from geoengineering? Boom! Cushion waves. What a shame. Yeah, chemtrails have come a long way since the tinfoil hat wearer first mentioned them. These are chem bomb methods. Many methods and they're sanctioned by the United Nations programs. You spell out, they even give you the, how much it's going to cost. Guy Fox Rivers. When's, where's the guy when you need him? And he failed because he told people what he was going to do. So we need to fight this. Armadale. Look what they did to you. Boom! Watch ya. You better watch out. Boom! It's coming over the top of you. It's fueling your weather. It's fueling your demise. It's fueling you right into their smart stacking pack cities where if you're a very good boy, you can have a ride on the train to work instead of walking. Well, I don't accept that future. I haven't been a bad boy. You haven't been a bad girl. And it dang sure isn't a bad planet to be on. When we don't manipulate Mother Nature. Well, Mother Nature needs to have human nature left out of the decisions of what the nature of the mother is. Big love, people. Peace. Well. My internet was restored.